In this video, we'll look at the personalization of Stardraw Design 7. Personalization is a way to set Stardraw Design 7 up to include the data and the functionality that you want. Okay, so you've downloaded and installed Stardraw Design 7, and when you first run the application, you'll log in. Your login status is shown here in the bottom right hand corner of the main application window. When you sign in, you can use the same login credentials that you use for the Stardraw.com website. That is your email address as your username and your regular password. It's important to be logged in because this is how you can set and retrieve your own personal settings for Stardraw Design 7. OK, so now let's go and set the application up with our own personal preferences. Begin by going to the Tools menu and choose Personalization. This shows a dialog with four tabs. The first tab, your Personal Details, initially draws its information down from your account settings. You can, of course, edit any of the settings in this window that you want. The Products tab is perhaps the most important area of the Personalization dialog. It's here that you can decide which manufacturer libraries you can download and install into your own personal installation of Stardraw Design 7. On the left hand side we list all of the available manufacturers. Today there are a little over 600 manufacturers. To decide which manufacturers you want to install simply choose the manufacturers that you want. So I'm going to simply select Crown and JBL. Click on the right hand arrow button and these are then added to my list of selected manufacturers. When I click on the OK button those manufacturer libraries are updated into the database and you can see down here on the left hand side of the application window the application is synchronizing that data against our website. So it's going to download those manufacturer libraries and store them in a local database file for future use. Once manufacturer libraries have been downloaded and installed locally, if you return to the Products tab, you'll see that each of those libraries has now got a star by it. That means that the download has been successful and those libraries can now not be removed from the selected manufacturers list. So remember, when you do select a manufacturer and install it, you're then locked in to that manufacturer library. The next tab is called Product Attributes, and it's here that we can build a spreadsheet that contains key attribute information and, importantly, discrete attribute values for all of the products that we use in our products libraries. On the left-hand side, there is a list box into which I can put any attribute names that I want. So in this case, I'm going to add the attribute name Cost Price, the attribute name Sale Price, and supplier and stock code. I can add any attribute names that I want. Here on the right hand side is a path that goes to the Stardraw Design 7 system attribute spreadsheet. So this is a standard Excel spreadsheet that will contain all of my product listings and it will allow me to enter discrete attribute values for all of those attribute names for all of the products in my library. So let's just generate the product attributes spreadsheet and it's now done. And now when we view the data source, Excel pops up and in the spreadsheet you'll see that there is a tab for each of those selected manufacturers. Let's just size those columns. Uh, there is then a column for each of the attribute names that I've defined and there is a row for each product. So now, bearing in mind that we have cost price, sale price, supplier and stock code, I could scroll down to one of the products and set values. So my cost price might be $12.99, my sale price $24.95, my supplier Harman and my stock code ABC007. Save that spreadsheet and then that data will appear in your projects. Returning now to Stardraw Design 7, the final tab in the personalization dialog is called Settings. It's here that we can define whether autosave is enabled and its interval. So this will create an automatic backup copy of any project that you're working on. 
the state of autosave can be enabled or disabled. And in this list, we can set product attributes. Now, these again are attribute names that we can add to any product in any of our projects. But in this case, these attribute names will appear in the properties grid. And they're designed for setting attribute values on a project by project specific basis. So for instance, if a particular product might be in a room or in a particular location, or part of a particular system, I can add any of those attribute names and they will then be added to any product in any of my projects. Okay, well that's a quick tour through the personalizations dialog, very important part of Star Draw Design 7. Please do look at some of the upcoming videos to see how we actually use all of this great functionality.